Okay, thank you. Um, my name's Detective Inspector Mark McKechn from the Southern District CIB. Uh, at about uh, 9.15 p.m. last night, um, police were called here to Dunorlan Road at Edwardstown, where a 41-year-old uh, male was found with a gunshot wound. Uh, he was pronounced deceased uh, shortly after at the Flinders Medical Centre. So we're currently Southern District Police are currently on location here with uh, the Major Crime Branch conducting inquiries in relation to this man's death which is uh, considered a homicide. Um, at the moment we haven't located the firearm. Um, we don't believe the attack is random. We suspect it's probably someone known to the victim. I can't go into details as to why we believe that. But that's our suspicion at the moment. Uh, those inquiries are well and truly underway as we speak in relation to associates and people that are known to the deceased. Um, we seized a white Toyota Camry uh, this morning from Weaver Street, Edwardstown, around the corner that um, we believe is connected to the victim and that vehicle is currently undergoing forensic examination. Um, we would appeal for information from the public as to any witnesses to the incident last night and in particular anyone that was travelling along Dunorland Road between 8.30pm and 9.30pm last night um, and appeal for any, anyone with any dash cam footage um, and from any residents nearby that may have seen or heard anything connected with uh, the, the deceased's death. Um, so happy to take questions. Do you know how many people you're looking for? No, we don't at the moment. Uh, we're open-minded as to how many people um, and who the offenders are. We're not sure at the moment. Can you tell us any more about this gunshot wound, where it was? Look, we, no, we won't go into detail yet about the location of the gunshot wound or the calibre of the firearm. Uh, we've still got the inquiries obviously in its very early stages. We're waiting for post-mortems, forensic examinations and things like that. Do you think there could be other crime scenes or do you think he was shot here? Uh, we suspect he was shot here. Do you know how they may have left? Are you looking for a getaway car? Uh, we're not sure, and that's something we would hope the public may be able to assist us with, is uh, a vehicle or whether on foot, we're not, we're not sure at this stage. Do we know if the victim is located near to the area? Um, no, he's of no fixed place of abode, that's what I can say. Um, but we do suspect there are some, so he's associated with people in this vicinity. Uh, no, he's known to the police, I can tell you that. The uh, deceased is known to the police, uh, but that's about all I can tell you at the moment. Any other questions? Is he a father or...? No, we don't know yet. We can't go into that. We actually don't know and we're still making inquiries with his family and that sort of thing, who have actually been spoken to as we speak by the police and um, being assisted uh, as much as we possibly can as far as their welfare goes. Yeah. Oh, look, it's, it is unusual, isn't it, for Adelaide for someone to be shot in a suburban street on a uh, Sunday evening and um, certainly um, of great concern to us and to the community and uh, something we want to get on top of very early and quickly um, identify the offenders. Were there any sounds of a gunshot heard? No, I believe there was a sound of a gunshot, but I don't know a lot more detail other than that, and that's something we'd ask the public if anyone did hear the gunshot or a gunshot. Uh, in this area to contact us. Are there any persons of interest at this stage? Or is it no, early? it's too early. Yeah. Any concern to say whether she targeted? Look, no, it is too early. I mean, we're open minded about all that sort of thing. Our suspicion is it'll be it's, uh, an associate of some sort, but that's about as far as I can. I can't say any more than that at this stage. Is this perpetrator or, or group, are, are they a, a danger to the public? Uh, look, no, we don't believe so. No, we don't know that at this point. Is it a concern that the firearm itself is still out there? Yeah, that's obviously our great concern is to find that firearm. And that'll be out the we'll prioritise that as we are now. Last one or two. And just how many resources have you got? Oh, we've got significant resources here, as you can see from Southern District um, Police and also Major Crime and other specialised areas that are assisting us with this investigation.